Okay. Let's go. Let's just check the audio. Um, welcome to day seven of Advent of Code. We're just under two minutes out. Hmm. Okay, so... So yesterday went really well. Um, oh, just a quick thing. Congratulations to Colin. He actually leaderboarded yesterday. So yeah, he has 24 points now on the leaderboard um, globally. So um, good on him for that. Um, I I was pretty fast on part one. So um, and uh, I actually was just about seven seconds off the leaderboard. So you know, a little bit disappointed that happened, but um, you know, I'm I'm not that disappointed. It it was a it was a very very good day yesterday. Um, oh, um, I, I did implement yesterday's in OCaml, so you can take a look at that. Um, it's pretty ugly. I, I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but it was kind of fun to, to implement it using some maps, and I, I learned about a little bit more about how to actually use maps um, in OCaml, which is probably good for considering that I, I teach a programming language class that uses OCaml. Um, Again, yeah, I am not the one who coordinates it, so I don't know it as well as I probably should, but this will kind of help. Okay, so um, I'm expecting a little bit of a fast problem today, um, so I'm going to concentrate on just getting it right um, first time. Okay, list of numbers. Let's just parse it. One line, okay. Another crab. Horizontal position of each crab. Here's the sample. Um, and what is the expected value? 37 fuel. I bet this is a, a one that we need for each. Okay. One step and each change of one step costs one fuel. You choose. You could choose any horizontal position to align them all on, but the one that costs the least fuel is the horizontal position 2. 16 to 2, 14 fuel. At position one. Okay, so for n in sequence, what we're gonna do is for k abs k minus n sum x equals plus equals x equals x um, if x greater than y equals none y is none or x less than y x equals y and x equals x y y equals x. I think that went pretty well. Oh my gosh, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Continue to part two.
Okay, so it's the same thing basically, except the formula is different. Um, No test configured two of six. It should be the expected. Okay, so not quite. Um, Oh wait, sorry, that's 206. This one is none. Um, 107. Shoot, um, sequence. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's correct. Um, sixty six, one to five. Sixteen, sixteen. Oh, wow. No, wait, that should be fine. Two to sixteen. Okay, so the fuel cost is X. Oh my gosh, okay, so let me just take a step back here.
It says a line on four. So, um, Wait, where's five? Oh. Oh dear. Atrocious. Killing me, killing me. Okay, yeah, so the issue is I, I didn't realize that it could be in between. Uh oh. Uh, what's happening to the I have a friend who, who just leaderboarded, so that's cool. Um, there we go. Cool, yeah, that was kind of disastrous, especially part two. Yeah, okay. Um I guess I'll I'll do some cleanup while while we're waiting for Advent of Code to be a little bit more happy. So let's let's make a function and extract all the functionality out to this. Um, calculate best alignment of a sequence list of integers, which gives int. Um, for in in or. Oh, before before we do this, let's commit.
Um, nice, Joshua. Good job on the leaderboard. Um, yeah, not so not so hot on my end. Uh, let me see if I can if it's working to give me my placement today. No, it's it's still 500 error. So I don't know exactly what I did on part two, but it was outside of the 1,000. Um, another third on the leaderboard for part one. Hmm. Let's see. Um, let's see, um, clean up, um, oh, right, um, oh, seven. Let's see. So, is this loading yet? Yeah, this is unfortunate. It's it's still not loading. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm sure that there's a closed form solution for this, but let's just go with the software engineer mentality here and. Um, Uh, let's see, um, int, 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 um, So it's just the sum of cost of k, oh wait, k, um, and another int. Wait, V? Is it V? And K for K in sequence. Um, y if co uh, best equals min cost best. Yeah, I I I spent too much time reading and that that definitely cost me. I just couldn't figure it out. Like I agree with you. Like I couldn't figure out like if it was going to be harder. 
Um, Um, calc best alignment of the sequence given a function which is just a lambda of the k abs k minus v something like that Okay, so that's definitely more elegant. And then we can just change the uh, return or the, the calculation of the cost to be this guy. Get rid of all of that. Yeah, the, the number is pretty big, but it's computers are fast. Um, uh, is it back? Advent of Code seems to be having a bad day today. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate that it's it's failing. <clears throat> Joshua, I remember last year uh, watching one of your streams and like you just kind of looked at the input and were like, this is not algorithmically interesting. Computers are fast. <laughs> it's in my quotes file. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, cost... Um, sum of i plus i for i. No, wait. I think I can just do one comma abs a minus b plus one. Aha! That is Pythonic. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. I guess I can make this a lambda. Yeah. <laughs> um, did I beat you on part part? Uh, Which part should I, part one? Kelly? Oh, I guess I did. This isn't updated though, so I, I don't know how that went. I hope that it got my submission. It has it here. So it just, it must be just the leaderboard. Somebody, somebody's having a real bad, bad time of it. Page has been temporarily <laughs> disabled. Um, um, let's find the quotes file. Um, modules, email. Quotes. Um, that one was fun. Yeah, here it is. This is, uh, I have a quote from you too, Kelly. 
Um, if you ever look at Kelly Code, his is linked from my GitHub um, advent of code. Uh, one of these, his repos here, and his solutions basically are all JavaScript and have like zero new lines. Um, okay, yeah, this is pretty clean now, though. Yeah, I'm so annoyed. I, I lost so much freaking time because I didn't realize that the alignment could be between, like, it didn't, it could just be any integer value between, um, the max and min. So I, I spent way, way, way too long on that. Um, okay, let's just check that this is correct. Well, I'm glad that it's just the leaderboard that's broken because it means that this will count. Um, so there we go. Um, and Let's see, um, anything else to do here? I mean, continue cleaning up, obviously. But, um, yeah, I'm glad that the test case was, was good enough to catch my mistake. I actually wonder if, wait, let's go back to, here if I if I skip the test does it does it work on the expected wait how is it so big oh because that's the sum right um, what do you actually align on Oh, I don't actually really care. Um, let's see. Let's just delete some stuff. Size zip sequence. Actually, I should have used this one. That would have been nice. Um, I can just use that here. Oh, not really. Because I need max plus one, but I can use I range. And then splat it out. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Sequence, rotation, rematch, product. Um, input parsing went well. I had it already, I just uncommented it. Um, oh, dear. Let me let's put that C D E F put that there because that was important. I thought it might be a Manhattan distance when I heard like alignment and such, but luckily it wasn't. Uh, it was just normal distance, um, but I still managed to not figure it out. Uh, let's see. Int, uh, infer, great adjacencies, Dijkstra, chunks, cache. Cool. There we go. 
modified range. I think I used I range, right? So I don't need this range though. And we can get rid of those. And we can nuke a bunch of these. I think that yeah, I'm I'm a bit disappointed with part two. It didn't go as fast as I wanted. Okay, maybe the leaderboard is back. Nope. Hmm. Well, we might have to wait um, until tomorrow. To, to see results. But yeah, pretty fast problem. I, I felt like I was reasonably efficient on part one, but still managed to drop quite a few points, I think. Um, let's see, what else is there? The test code worked. So, I mean, I just put in the wrong expected value for this one, but that's fine. Um, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and commit this cleanup. Um, what other leaderboard can I look at? The other one is... Oh, whoops. Can I open the leaderboard yet? Okay, so this one is loading. Okay, so I can see my information here. Delta time of seven minutes. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I floundered around at that for a little, a hot minute there. Um, so I'm, I'm in a leaderboard with some people at work. I don't think Brad does it on time, but Adam does. And so it looks like he got, we exchanged. First, second, first, second. So um, keeping the points even, that's what I need to do on that leaderboard. This one is a lot more people, so I think I probably dropped quite a few points there. Oh, here we go. Seventh place. Oh, dear. Seventh isn't the worst I've done. I'm, I would be concerned if it was above 10, but seven is not ideal, especially when Colin goes in here, gets two, three, and Ryan goes in leaderboards on part two, you know, like stuff like that is it just really kills you. Um, so let's see, I guess the four points that I gained against Colin, I promptly lost and he gained one extra. So that's great. Kelly plus four. Um, but yeah, I think I'm still in contention. Ryan did really well though, so you know he's he's coming back up, and he gained what eight points on me. Um, yeah, that's oh, this one feels like a fun one to do in a functional language. Let's try it. Um, how, what was his, what was the time? One minute twenty two. That is that is crazy. That is a delta time. So he solved it three minutes twenty nine two. Okay, I, I'm. Uh, 
I'm okay with this. You know, like I'm pretty happy with this third place. Um, I don't think I would have been able to shave off another, you know, 20 seconds um, to get that. Okay, let's try this in OCaml. Um, yes, Joshua, Brad is XPebble as well. Um, okay, so I don't know OCaml that well, so I'm just going to copy, paste. If you, if anybody knows OCaml and has a better way of reading in a file, please let me know. Uh, okay, so I think that this is pretty functional here, so I, I can pretty much just copy pasta. I have the sequence generated already from the previous one. And then... Um, I guess this needs to be calculate calculate alignment and then let's just return zero sequence oh I guess I need to like um I don't I don't know if there's an easy way to memoize in OCaml. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really know. Does this actually is this conducive to memoization? I guess the cost is, right? Yeah, who cares? Um, okay, so I don't think we need the ent map. And then what we can do here is just so we have a function. Shoot, where's my description? Or actually, I should just look at my code. That's probably the best thing to do here. Oh, shoot. I'm editing the wrong file. Um, so we, we take in the initial sequence and we take in some lambda f. Min. So this is just going to be list or what's Let's see here. Um, calculator of and then fun. X, Y, fold the left with plus. Z. 
zero. And then let's see. Uh is there like a, a range function? Hmm. Um. Am I gonna have to write it myself? See. <laughs> Okay, I'll just write the um, let's see. Let's just blatantly copy from Stack Overflow. Um and put that Range one. I guess it's inclusive, so range okay. So now what do I how do I do this part? Um, initial sequence. So uh, I guess over here for this function Oh, I guess I can simplify this in Python as well. Make it a bit more of a um, make it a bit more functional, so it's an easier translation. Men of um, so before I screw this up, runs men of some cost function v k for k n sequence for v n I range star sequence max sequence. Haha. <laughs> okay, so this is basically what I need to code up in OCaml now. Um, min. I guess it's probably just lists. Yeah, I guess you're just supposed to do list.fold left min int, I guess. Um, Oh, wait, I see. So min and then max int. So we're, this is how you do a minimization. And then um, map. And then fun. And 
Uh, oh, okay. First of all, let's pass into. So this is our fold function, right? Wait, no, that's that's the fold, that's the min. That's the thing that we need to minimize on uh, for all of the. Um, what am I doing? Oh, uh, range. Fold left. Um, map. And then some function. Uh, v let's start let's start all right see ya full left um, plus and zero and cost and then uh, map of this the, the function is to sum list dot map of Sum of let's put the let's put it here actually. Fun a hack x hack f f of f of v x I think something like that And okay, so then uh, we write list map, and then this guy is our accumulator. So we are summing this is our cost function, cost function plus accumulator, fold left, zero. And initial sequence, I guess. And then we apply that. On all of the V's in range shoot fold left men max and
max is oh shoot uh Okay. Range Men of So this should give us the sum of the cost function on KV This one may be too slow Thirty seven. Well, that's clearly wrong. left on x x string of of int x um, there's got to be a better way of doing this but I don't remember what it is um, comma empty string sequence Wait, what's the initial value? Oh, x, y, y caret. Integer, 
int string. Fold left is, there we go. Is that, is that the input? Totally useless. Um, v. One is forty one, three is thirty nine, three is twenty five. Maybe my cost function is bad. Zero to sixteen is zero. Oh, am I doing, is it, is it this way? I want to feel really dumb if it's this way. Okay, so that's my accumulator, so that's fine. One is 41, two is 37, three is 39, four is 41.
Okay, so I just need to learn a little bit more about which direction the args go for folding. But I think this works. 37 and 168, and then get rid of that. And where's the print? Okay, this will be pretty slow. This isn't very efficient. I'm sure there is a... Let's just pull in this memoization function. How do you use this? Oh, I mean it exited. Is that even the right answer? Yeah, so that's the right answer. Okay, at least it's correct. I'll I'll think about how to optimize this. I I gotta go to bed though. So, um, or I gotta start editing this. <laughs> is really the the thing. So, um, yeah. There we go. All right. Um, thank you for watching. If you're still here, um, I'll be at it again tomorrow. So uh, see you for day eight.